Hello, Retro Fans. Well, you may have recognized um, it has been a bit quiet on my channel, and uh, there are a couple of reasons for that, as well, usual. And uh, well, when uh, I was um, thinking about that whole issue and what I may have to change in order to, well, get more frequent videos on the channel again. Um, I came up with the idea that um, I may change the format of my videos a little bit and I may change the, um, well, the, the way I approach topics and talk about things and so on. And um, I came up with the idea that um, I will have some short videos, what, whatsoever, whatever short is, <laughs> but um, more in a way of a, a vlog or vlog, if it's called like this, a video blog, uh, because what I have uh, recognized is that, especially over the weekends when I have a bit more time working on retro topics, I post frequent updates to Twitter. And um, this is way more easier while well, taking a short video snippet or a picture or something like this and a few lines of text and then just tweet it. Uh, compared to produce a whole episode with uh, some sort of uh, pre-structured content, text, topics, whatever I want to talk about. Um, even if most of my videos are just recorded in some sort of a lifestyle, I well spend indeed some time upfront to think about what I'm going to talk and what I'm going to do. And um, yeah, and since I'm a bit busy with uh, work as well as other topics related to normal life and so on, it is really uh, kind of tricky to well um, work consistently on one topic to bring it to a point that this is uh, ending in a video. And um, since um, this whole retro hobby whatsoever is actually well running in parallel to my normal life, there are well some frequent changes and. Um, a couple of um, topics or things I haven't even mentioned because, well, I'm simply too busy for it. But I think um, putting this into some sort of a, a vlog format may, may help so that I really pick just um, a piece of something, whether it's a repair what so a test or i have received something or i'm working on something that will take quite a while and uh, create a well let's say five to ten minute video um, it is uh, probably much more entertaining and uh, it keeps you more let's say connected to what i'm doing and uh, you can provide feedback on what i'm doing actually and then I see if there is a, um, well, certain interest and then I can consider to dig a little bit deeper and uh, may create an episode out of it. Um, I keep recording a lot of um, video content of all the things I'm doing, but um, most of the time uh, it is just accumulating on my disk and I have no time to build a real episode out of it and I don't want to well unleash <laughs> a let's say a two to three hour video and uh, that's that's probably going to be too boring but um, well yeah I think that's that's a good way to interact as well to uh, have some influence on the uh, way the channel develops the topics I'm going to present and so on and I think that's um, more doable for me as well. So 
even uh, during the work week in the evening I might find um, half an hour or one hour to work on something make a short video what I'm actually doing release it to the channel and then there's uh, indeed a bit more live uh, I will keep that Twitter thing because I really love the interaction there so it's a very nice community and I'm very thankful for that and uh, it is uh, quite often very helpful pointing me in certain directions giving me inspiration especially uh, in terms of uh, C64 games I have never seen before, for example, or other uh, electronic related things. And yeah, that's actually the idea. And that's uh, what I um, some sort of propose. Uh, it might be a bit rough around the edges at the beginning because I have to get used to that. And uh, I really have to, well, have to practice this a little bit uh, to be let's say straight to the point <laughs> some sort of an elevator talk or something like this <laughs> and uh, to have at least a certain depth so that is uh, not just some 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 boring chit chat or something like this but uh, I'm really going to provide at least something and um, yeah so as I said that's actually the idea and uh, well, no video without a view to my desk, so today I think we're going to skip the intro because uh, we're going to have shorter videos, then we may have to consider cutting out the intro thingy. Um, I, I considered to make it shorter, about a year or something like this ago, but, um, well, I, I like it the way it is, and I think for an... Uh, 30, 40, 60 minutes episode. It is uh, still very, very good, but uh, for shorter videos, probably not. But as I said, uh, let's have you on my desk. And um, what's that? <laughs> uh, there was a desk just a minute ago. So let's go for this one. <laughs> as I said, it's going to be a little bit rough around the edges. So, and uh, yeah. And as you can see, well, the desk is full as usual. I'm still um, getting into the, say, Acorn Electron topic or, yeah. And uh, I'm working myself through the uh, manuals provided. And um, very, very interesting. I'm, I'm absolutely impressed by this little machine. And um, I, I have to say, I had an idea that this this basic uh, implemented into those uh, Acorn machines, the BBC Micro and the uh, Electron, is really something from a different world compared to the computers I have used in the past, like uh, the GDR computers or even the C64. But um, this is really on a completely different level, and it's really it's so impressive. I've checked a couple of basic programs and I was really blown away because I couldn't believe that this is done basic and even on this limited machine like the Electron not to talk about or not to think about the BBC Micro for example and I found a uh, old book on my um, on my storage um, attic whatever we want to call this and I want to make an episode about this one as well because this is highly highly interested uh, interesting and uh, this was very very influential uh, to me because i've learned a lot from this one and uh, there are a couple of uh, nice side stories around this book as well so that's going to be one thing i want to talk about and uh, as i said this whole acorn electron universe i started to work on this uh, little not to work, I have to, to use it and uh, to figure out how to use it and what I can do with it. This ELK SD64, I think it is called, or sometimes it's called ELK plus one plus something, um, which is actually some sort of an uh, SD card interface plus memory expansion plus a couple of other things. And uh, it's very complex and I started to work on this one as well to uh, well, actually use it 
and um, yeah a couple of other topics like the tape recorder for the electron and so on and um, you may have seen it on twitter as well that i started to have a certain interest in the atari 2600 for example and uh, i have some interesting um, well I've, i found some games i like <laughs> that was a bit hard at the beginning but uh, yeah, that's something I'd like to cover and a million of other topics as usual. So, well, as I said, I want to, I want to keep it short. I'm trying to keep it short. So that's really just some sort of a uh, video blog entry. And that's actually the, the, the kickoff, the very first thing. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to your comments. Please tell me what you think about and um, if you like it or if you don't like it, if you want to change me something or something like this. And I'm really, really excited to see how this is going to be, um, well, changing, growing, developing over the next, uh, well, <laughs> period of time <laughs> to make it a little bit unspecific. So, as usual, thank you very much for watching and I'm looking for your comments and see you for the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>